Hey, what's going on guys? Back again with another unboxing and showcase to share with you all. Today I'm gonna do some Star Wars Black Series. I have two I'm gonna do today, and we're gonna do Star Wars, uh, Luke Skywalker, uh, Endor uh, from Return of the Jedi. And we're gonna do the Star Wars uh, Mandalorian armor. And let's go ahead and give you guys a quick look up close. Very nice, beautiful packaging right here. Ordered mine from Hasbro Pulse. Let's get you guys a quick look at uh, profile here. And it's got this nice slip packaging right there. And we'll bring you guys up close to do the unboxing. All right, and up next, really excited for this one here because I'm all about Return of the Jedi, my favorite out of the original series. And got your Luke and Dora right here. Got the poncho, got the helmet for the speeder bike. Very cool right there. And a quick look at profile as well. All right, folks, so without further ado, let's go ahead and bust these guys out the box right quick. Um, we'll start off with Luke, and then we'll go up close for the Mandalorian box right there. All right. All right, here we go. Fresh out right here. Boom. Oh, wow. Poncho's really nice right here. Got that fabric. Let's go and break them out. Got your green lightsaber from Return of the Jedi. Very nice. Quick look at head sculpt here. Very nice pin applications. Right, um, that's molded on, it's not removable. I believe it's not removable. Yeah, that's molded on. All right, got the poncho right here, secured by belt. All right, got the classic black uh, Jedi Knight. All black, all black boots. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and unsecure the belt here. Get a look under the poncho right here of the setup. So I got my indoor Luke set up here with my Walmart Luke. And as you can see, they're both pretty much same mold. If you bring up the legs, pretty much the same right here. Uh, a little bit more of a matte finish on the indoor Luke. Uh, this here is pretty secure. I don't know how to undo this top. So uh, I'm assuming it's the same as what we get with this uh and or Luke here. Let me let me just see here. Yeah. All right, folks. So um, this Walmart Luke it does look good. It doesn't look like Mark Hamill all the way, but it it looks really good. This here looks a little bit more like Mark Hamill. All right. I do feel like he is the tough uh, face uh, sculpt to get down right as far as action figures couple more angles here and another added detail that I appreciate is the all black hand that they put on the indoor hand it's not there on the Walmart but they do give it to you with the indoor all right guys and to finish off the unboxing for today we have the Mandalorian the armor and uh, this comes in a very unique packaging if you see this slip right here very cool and there is something like it's held by a rubber band so it almost kind of retracts for you for those collectors who like the mint on card collection but i'm definitely gonna break this out get my whole mandalorian setup going i mean pff, these uh first few episodes of the second season have been fantastic and can't wait to finish the season and oh man they're gonna break my pockets man because i want figures from every episode pretty much and uh yeah i did not put a pre-order in for that razor crest but uh believe me i was very tempted but i've gone crazy with the hasbro pulse uh has lab i already ordered that um unicron and uh i ordered a couple of those sentinels so i mean i had to make space for those and to get the razor crest would have been crazy all right there you go right out the box here all right, so you got the armor tools right here. You have a Mando helmet, uh, fresh out the Beskar. All these tools for molding the weapons right here. And you have the armor. Let's 
put a breaker out. Um, everything is pretty much secure. Give me a second. Let me cut through everything. Here are all the accessories fresh out the box here. And um, these are really cool. Got a lot of translucent plastic there. Nice paint applications as far as the fade from the translucent plastic into the painted. Really nice there. A um, couple welding effects. Very cool. And I can imagine on Instagram all the dioramas that are going to go up as far as uh, armor or armory getting stuff ready for all the mandos and the mandalorian armor mandalorian weapons all right got this right here kind of like a beskar uh, mando helmet um, that's getting freshly uh molded very cool right there just got that translucent effect there very cool see that all right a couple more pieces right here They definitely put a lot of care and a lot of love to this set right here. And yeah, that's pretty much that. And I'm gonna go ahead and get her all cleaned up and set her up for some size comparisons. All right, here she is all cleaned up with her welding tools and she looks great. Oh uh, man, just pops off the screen. And I have to say, uh, without giving away any spoilers, these welding tools are also used for weapons. So you'll see her shine. If you haven't watched the series, go ahead and treat yourself. All right, folks, let's go ahead and bring in a couple of Mandos just for some size comparison. We have the Beskar armor right here. Quick comparison there. And we have the original Mandalorian. There you go. All right. Very cool look. Got a couple quick angles here. There you go. Oh. There, very cool. I'll bring her up close for a little bit more detail and a little closer look at all her design and uh, her molding. All right, let's go ahead and bring these guys out the frame now and give her the spotlight here. Very nice metallic finish here. Loving the browns, love that kind of magenta, almost a brownish magenta maroon kind of look. Something you would see on Magneto. Very cool here, got the horns on top of the helmet. All gold right there. Loving the fabrics they use for this right here, very cool. More of that armor plating, very cool. Love it. The weathering on this uh, skirt right here, fantastic. All right, guys, just a quick little unboxing I wanted to share with you all. Just a little bit of fun, Star Wars Black Series style. I've been hunting some Black Series and some Marvel Legends online here and there. So I do try to my best to keep up with the line. So yeah, uh, anytime I do get some new stuff in, I'll unbox them and I'll share it with you guys. If you're out there hunting, please be careful. I know the Rona uh, numbers are on the rise, so be careful out there. And uh, try your best to just order them. Let the figs come to you. All right, folks, uh, go ahead and make your videos. Post them online. Post them on Instagram. I'll be there to support you guys. Your boy, the number one D-Bag. I'll see you guys later. Take care and much love.